Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. I have a lot of ideas on how I should grow this channel or what content I should put, but like it's it's here. I just don't have any motivation to do it. And I actually filmed a video a while ago, and I um I have everything. I just need to edit it, but I just feel so lazy. <laughs> it's still it's still just sitting there. Um, so that video is gonna come out sometime later. But today, we're gonna do a binary tour because it's requested by a lot of you guys. Um, I thought about when to do it because you know I my my photo cards keeps coming in. So I was like, okay, should I do it now? Should I do it now? And I think right now is a pretty good time because I'm going on a hiatus. <laughs> I spent... Mm -hmm. So I feel like right now is a good time because I feel like there's still some time gap between their next comeback. And right now I'm just waiting on the FanLife merch slash photo cards to come here. And that's gonna take a while because I didn't get a lot in my first batch and I got a lot <laughs> in my second batch. Um, so that's not gonna be here until April. So I feel like right now is a pretty good time to do a photo binder tour yes but yeah with that being said let's get into my binder tour see you in a bit okay okay so here's my two binders since i am collecting ot5 it's like one three inch is not enough so i have one three inch and one two inch uh i separated them with the album inclusions and the non-album inclusions and for the album inclusions uh i have the ja both japanese album and the korean album and uh, yeah I, and i had two huning polaroid one is signed and one is unsigned and i feel like this is a pretty good distinguisher because this is when he was doing you know like promotion and this is when he was doing a like a photo shoot so i feel like this is a pretty good identifier for like album inclusion and this is for non-album uh, so there are a few disclaimers that I want to address before I do this binder tour. So the first is that I want to let everyone know that everyone's collection is beautiful and you don't have to, you know, compare this with anyone's. You should be proud of your own collection. And this is definitely something that I need to say it to myself enough time to convince myself because I definitely rushed by a lot of these photo cards. Yeah, so that's the first disclaimer. And then the second disclaimer would be, I won't be disclosing the price that I got for particular photo cards. I just don't feel comfortable sharing them. Um, if you do want to know like a general market price, uh, feel free to comment down below. And with that being said, let's just start our vinyl tour. I think we're gonna start with the regular album. So I don't, yeah, I think I was gonna go for a uh, order, but then I felt too lazy. And the first one is the Seal Dreaming. And I, yeah, I, I didn't, like this is right when I decided to slow down my collections. So I didn't really get a lot of the collection here. I actually have a, <laughs> I have 10, but this is like a nine pocket. So sorry, Subi, I'm just gonna put you over, boom you. Put Subian over Bone You. Um, yeah, and then the flyers I did manage to do to get a set for a pretty good price. Um, yeah, and I actually got two sets. I bought this on Makari Japan, and I didn't know they has two sets. I don't even think the seller was gonna sell two sets, but then somehow I just got two sets, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, and so for Still Dreaming, they have two sets of postcards. One is the regular postcards, which they also call Lucky Jaws. And one are these like Omikuji events. These are like pretty rare, I think. I did manage to get everyone but one of Yonjun's. And I do think these are really cute. Like, I don't think it justifies how expensive it is, but the boys are really cute. Yeah, I'm missing one of Yonjun's, so I just used uh, one of the group ones as a filler for now. And boom you. Okay, this is hands down my favorite photo cards. And I I I just love it so much. Please. Why is he so cute? And then Taehyun and Hyunin Kai. Yeah, so that's still dreaming. And then let's move on to Blue Hour. Um so these are actually like I cut the I cut these from like a one pocket and then I just made a fit so it doesn't look as abrupt. So we have the VR and then AR. 
Yeah. And then the regular. And then the regular is this one that I didn't manage to pull with my ADL wounds, uh, but I did manage to get a trade with one of my friends. And now it's complete. And then uh, for the regular albums, I did have these like uh, notebook and I, I just cut them uh, and then use that as a filler. I think I'm pretty happy with this, but I think I might change how to set up later. I'm too lazy to change it now though. Um, and then it's the regular, no, this is AR. And then the VR, and then, yeah, for VR, uh, since they are transparent, I just use like those, these <laughs> uh, QR code, and then I paint, I, I use some tape. And then, so now it doesn't look as empty because they are transparent. Yeah, and then these are uh, the target photo cards. Um, I, yeah, I have three, but I feel like it will be better with four, but I'm just too lazy to get another one. So they are just sitting like this now. Okay, and then the Eternity. Uh, yeah, and these are, I didn't manage to get like, because these are those big photo cards. And then back then I don't have these A pocket or the six pocket. So I have to use two pocket because that's the only one I have. And so what I did was that I cut off the postcards. Uh, and then I also uh, had this filled. So right now it kind of looks like they're just, I'm pretty happy with this, <laughs> honestly. And then we have the port. I actually really like this set. Um, some people aren't happy with like the split, but I think it looks kind of cute. But like, you know, I oh, okay, <laughs> I take it back. I think I like the starboard one more. Um, they are just gorgeous with these suits. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, um, anyways. <laughs> and then it's the magic and here's the uh, student pad. I don't really know how to fill them, so I used to put them in like a one pocket, but then I someone told me that they actually fit in the four pocket. And then here's the student ID. Um, yeah, I, for these I decorated them a little while ago, so uh, it was the filler that's the same idea with the VR student, sorry, VR photo cards from Blue Hour. So I had this as, you know, Black and white, and then this is a golden, but you know, it doesn't really fit the color scheme, but oh, oh, I, it's my photo binder, so I feel like I can deal with that. Um, yeah, and then it's the TU for the magic hour. I'm still thinking what to put um, in this. Let me know if you have any suggestions, because I feel like this is good enough, but I also want to feel something. So, same with the... Mm, star chapter. So that's when we all just have big ass cards. So two, six pockets. And then it's the drama. Um, this is probably one of the easiest set to complete because this is back then when big hit was in like, oh, let's just drop a photo cards every other day. And then, and then they did that for blue hour and still dreaming. And yeah, these are actually pretty easy to get. Uh, and then this is the pre-order benefit. And this is the wall card. Um, so one suggestion about these is that when I got this, I got them kind of early on and that's when people on Makari Japan still like overpriced them. So yeah, a suggestion that I would say is to wait a little bit and then usually the price would drop. And then this is the postcards from like one of the merch. And then it's the magic hour flyers. Uh, and then the postcards, and then the coaster, uh, and then for the uh, photo cards, the pink and blue ones are common, more common than the blue and yellow ones, and these are usually pricier. Uh, but yeah, I do have the both Taehyung one, but they are not here. Here, they're back at my Chinese home. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I sent some of the photo cards back home. And then my mom was like, why do you get so many photos? Stop buying photos. And then I'm just too afraid to send any more there. But yeah, <laughs> that being said, let's look at the non album inclusions. These are all not in particular order either, <laughs> but it's it's what it is. So the first one is the Eternity with Fan or Ijuyu. Well, of course, these are honestly one of my favorite. Like everyone just looks so cute in this. And then it's the 
Blue Hour. This is Makari. Sorry, M Makima. Uh, it's like one of the music store in Indonesia, I think. Um, this set is okay because I feel like they are concept photos and we already saw them before they released this. And then these are two pre order benefits from Japan. One is Sonara and one is uh, either Universal Music Japan or Weavers Japan. I think this is. Yeah. But this! Because when they first released, they were like, oh, it's gonna be a Polaroid. Hello? Is this a Polaroid? Like, I know it's cute, but I was expecting a Polaroid, not just like a smaller version of this poster. And I was a little disappointed with this. And then it's the uh, Blue Hour uh, with Fan Ijuyu. They have three sets. And this is the postcards from the first set. And then the first round. The second round and the third round. Oh yeah, and sometimes when they, they have like three sets, I just do like T, X, and T. <laughs> if it's not, then I usually do like one like this and one like this. But yeah, I also have complaints because look at this. What is this? The boys look so cute, but they definitely screw up the production. Like, why are these so dark? Hello? Excuse me? I'm very pissed actually. Because if these are brighter, they are going to be my favorite. But... Yeah, since they are not, I feel like the second round is my favorite. I, I think they shoot this when they did like that Halloween episode. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> um, and then this is the second round of Weavers. I actually still have Subin on the way because I was missing Mr. Bongyu. And then I have a Subin, but then a friend of mine has the Bongyu, but she wants Subin. So I just traded my Subin, and then I got an extra Subin, um, so that's on the way. And I still have this extra Kai, which I'm, I think I'm also trading it for Bongyu. Because I think Bongyu really, looks really cute, and I think I might put it on the back of my phone or something, we'll see. And then this is the first round of the Weaver's pre-order benefit. I also decorated it with the tapes, and then I have like this. Anyways, <laughs> um, and I actually got pretty lucky because I just got five random version because that's when you would get them, just the random version. And then, yeah, I just got five and I, it comes with a set. So I was like, oh, big head, you're finally doing something great. Okay, yeah, with that being said, let's just talk about the Blue Hours, Lucky Jaws. Who the hell, sorry, excuse my language. Who the heck knows they have so many? Like, I honestly, that was when... I was actually becoming a little upset and I was having like a mental breakdown. I was like, should I even collect OD5? And then I, I took a little hiatus and then I became a little better. But yeah, that was a rough time. Uh, but anyway, here's the postcards. Or they call them mini, mini poster, I think. But these are pretty cute. And then, uh, so you know how in second round, they have two sets that are the same. Um, and otherwise, uh, every, so every member has 10 photo cards each. So each member will, can fit in like an entire nine pocket. And then since one of them is like the dupe, it's not like dupe dupe because, you know, like one of them has this at the back and then the other one has the signature. Uh, so I just did that. I put one in the front and as like a cover and one in each page. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so I have the... Yes. <laughs> and then for Subin, I didn't manage to get this. I still had, need to get this, which is the white hood one. Um, I, I will maybe put a picture of what it looks like. But yeah, this one is actually going for insane price recently. And I was just so sad. Because I'm... Uh, yeah. Anyways. And for Yongjun, I finished the set. I think for Yongjun, this one is the rarest. If you're collecting them. Good luck. <laughs> uh, Bongyu. Uh, same situation. One is actually I mean, on the way, but the other three got sent to my Chinese home. And yeah, I don't know when I will get that, but one day. For Taehyun, I finished the set. And then for Huning, I also finished the set. I don't know which one is the rarest for Taehyun, but... For Bongyu, it's the cowboy one. Uh, I can also put a picture. And then for Huning Kai, it's this one. I mean, I mean it kind of justifies because these are the cutest. For Subing, this one is the rarest. Also, this one I think is also kind of rare. Like, they are cute, but I don't think it justifies the price. <laughs> and then it's the Eternity Lucky Jaws. These are honestly so cute. I am a sucker for these uniforms. This is what made me decide to collect OT5 non-collection, like non-album inclusions. 
all of them just look so cute. And I think this is one of my favorite, like all time favorite too, the Taehyung and Bong Yu unit. And then it's the individual one, so they have the starboard, the port, and then three signature one. So I did manage to get all of them. I, yes, I just love these so much. Okay, and then it's the broadcast. Uh, so this is the... Okay, good, and I was like, where's Bongyu? Um, yeah, so this is the uh, Blue Hour broadcast. I like the bag, it's really cute. I like this sticker. I really, yeah, I think this aesthetics really fits what I like. And then the mom name, and then the group ones. And here's the Runaway slash Angel or Devil broadcast. I also like the drawings at the back. They are really cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to expand my vocab, but all I can think about when it comes to TXC is this is so adorable, this is so cute, I love them so much. So, um, excuse me for my lack of language. <laughs> um, and can we talk about how cute these are? I, Mr. Che Bongyu is racking me so hard. He's actually one of my alt now, along with Taehyung. And I'm not complaining, actually. <laughs> the guys and the group ones. Okay, and then here comes the... one of the rarest, I think, the V-Life. I actually managed to get a fake uh, Subin, because I was getting it for one of my friends. And then when it arrived, I can spot it right away that it's a fake replica or slash replica. And it's just kind of sad that people are selling replicas as, like, original ones. So, Subing, Yongjun, Bongyu. Ironically enough, so, you know, for most photo cards, the rare one would be the Hyunline. So, Subin and Yongjun are usually quite popular. But for these ones, it's actually the Money line that are rarer. Like, I barely see people selling Taehyung and Tuning Kai's. Bongyu too, I don't think many people sell them. And then the group one. Okay, and then here comes the other one, um, the cat and dog set. So, I thought I finished the set, but, uh, for some unfortunate reason, the souping set got lost in the mail, and the seller was really understanding. She actually refunded me the whole amount, because it's not like, it's, it's just unfortunate. But yeah, I have everyone but Subin's. And then it's the crown. I actually had a lot of thoughts about this setup too, because everyone has five, right? So, and it only fits in the four pocket. So if I do like three on one side and two on the other, then it's a lot of pockets. And then my three uh, inch is getting full too. <laughs> so I decided to do week one to week four, everyone for one page. Um, and then for week five, I did the three and three setup. So one, Okay, I the, the order is wrong, but like all of these are week five, and then yeah, and then the group one is here, and then it's the light stick, and I I just uh, use some fillers. This was also back uh, a while back, so the fillers are also a little different, and then it's the mini bag for the last fan life. And then speaking of fan life, here's the fan life for the. Uh, last year's photo cards, I just managed to get all of them because uh, I got Subin, Yongjun, and Hyunin Kai set pretty luckily, like I, I don't, it's not a big struggle, but for Mr. Bongyu, number three is really hard, I can show you what it looks like, yeah it took me so long to find one, I even have I even had thoughts to just get like another set, but then I was like, nah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but I managed to get a trade, and I'm so grateful, and it's still on the way. And then for Taehyung, it's number five, so this one. No, just kidding, it's this one. Uh, it's so hard to find, because I think they have some manufacturing errors, uh, and it's just unfortunate they didn't have this at all in the first print, and the second print, I also don't think they had it. And then it's not until the third print that they start to manufacture this, so this is one of the rarest, for sure. And then for Hyunin Kai, he looks so adorable in these orange slash yellow hoodies, like, please. Why is he just such a ray of sunshine? I don't understand. Yeah, and then here's, here's the our, our photo book. Uh, and then here's the second one. And this is easily one of my favorite too. 
Maybe I'm just biased because they are my alt, but <laughs> I also like this root a lot too. One of my favorite for sure. And then here's the uh, postcard for the Eternity uniform. Also really cute, the entire set. So I have the group ones, Ruben, Yongjun. This is also really rare. Like a lot of people struggle to find these and I'm just lucky enough that I have them. Bongyu, Taehyun, and Huying Hai. Speaking of Taehyun, I have a story. So back then I didn't really want to collect OT5 and I did manage to have a Subin. And I was like, I want this Taehyun. And then someone was trading a Subin for a Taehyun. And I was trading a Taehyun for a Subin, and I was like, mine! <laughs> so I traded my Subin away for a Taehyun, and then I was like, shoot, I want to collect OT5 now. So I actually had to buy a Subin back, which is a little unfortunate. But I have them now, so that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, okay, and then for the... This is the weekly reply paper frame for last year's merch too. And why I'm missing the... Huning and Taehyung ones, you might ask. That's because freaking Weavers don't ship my orders. Because I bought these back in September last year, and then they changed the status to shipping soon the day afterwards, which means I can't even cancel my order, and it, it's still shipping soon. I counted them multiple times, and then it's not useful at all. So Weavers, better ship your orders or else. Yeah, but I did manage to get the other three. And then for the, uh, this is the season greeting for 2021. These are really cute too. And then the photo cards. I got another uh, season greeting just because the back is really cute for these photo cards and I don't just want to hide them, you know, because they're like tiny themselves. Okay, can you focus? And it's, it's so cute. Okay, and then it's the 2020 season greeting. These are really cute too. Like, their outfit. One of my faves for sure. Then the season greeting ID. Same thing here. I, because they are transparent, I just uh, tape some tapes <laughs> to make it kind of like, you know, those crime thing tapes. Kind of proud <laughs> too. Uh, okay, and then this is the New Year Fan Life. This is the pre-order ticket, and this is in the fun kit. I actually just got them the other day. One of my friends has an extra, so she just sold it to me. And then this is the postcard. Easily one of my favorite too. Honestly, I've been saying that for like the past 10 albums, but you know, they're just cute. Like, what, what can I say? <laughs> um, all right, and then here's the memories. I also got really lucky because I got six and then I managed to pull everyone but Bong Yu, and I, I found a trade really quick, so this set is pretty... The luck, the god of luck, was on my side. Let's just put it that way. And I think, I believe that's it. And I have some, yes, uh, magazines ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's it. That's the setup of my current photo binder. Since I'm going on a hiatus, I don't know when my next update will be. But I'll probably do another video for unboxing the photo cards for this year's friend life when they come in April. So stay tuned in that. No promises because last time I said I'm gonna drop another video and it's been like what three months. <laughs> so I'm sorry for everyone that waited. But thanks everyone for watching. And yeah, we will see you in the next video. Bye! I also just really want to show you guys my new setup. I feel like I'm really proud of this. I took the idea from the the room where they used like they do their um V Life. Um, you know, like they put the albums on the wall, but instead of the album it's like a square thing. But yeah, I took that idea and I'm glad that they didn't really follow anything, like they just stayed there um uh, for a while. Cause they did fall before and I bought some stronger tapes and then they are sticking on the wall and I'm not complaining <laughs> uh, but yeah so that's the side of the wall because you know sometimes I would do zoom meetings and I don't want to show my full K trash side to people that don't listen to K-pop um, so I was like well this seems subtle like you know it's not like a bunch of pretty K-pop boys so I was like yeah I think I would do this but <laughs> so on this side of the wall, you can see it's full of TXT, 
faces they're pretty faces i'm not gonna show more but you know because it's pretty messy but yeah and i designed this slogan myself and i'm pretty proud of it and then i have some uh standees and i also got this Taehyung uh bingo uh, don't ask me how much i'm not gonna disclose that 